This week, we are in the good old US of A, where everything is bigger and better, including the fish. I'm in Florida with my good mate, fishing celebrity Carter Andrews, chasing monster tarpon right in his backyard. Yeah, man! Finding the fish is the easy part. Staying attached proves to be a real challenge. You got him. You got a big one, Al. This is bucket list material. I've always dreamed about catching massive tarpon. Oh, man, nice that job, is buddy. so good. Nice job. And best of all, we're doing it in just a few feet of water. It's explosive fishing. Fishing is my life. It's in my DNA. From above the water and below the surface. It's who I am. Join me as I travel the world in search of the most insane fishing experiences on the planet. You got it. <laughs> oh, man. Big fish right there, Al. Yeah, baby. the size of it. Come on. How good is that? I'm Al McGlushen and this is Fishing with Baits. Woohoo! I'm in the US of A, heading south through Florida to catch up with my good mate Carter Andrews in Vero Beach. Vero Beach is located on the coast between Miami and Orlando in sunny Florida. Now, I've spent a lot of time in the US and driving on the wrong side of the road isn't usually an issue, unless you're taking directions from an Aussie phone. You could say, um, unintentional, full tour of the whole of Orlando. We're going north, we're going south, we're going east, we're going west. The only way it didn't go was down the way we wanted to go. We're going back past the International Airport where we started. Aye, aye, aye. After an unnecessarily long drive, we finally made it to Vero Beach. I'm really looking forward to catching up with Carter tomorrow and fishing his home turf. Carter Andrews is well known for hosting one of the most popular TV fishing shows in the US, The Obsession of Carter Andrews. Another great one. Where he travels the world catching exotic sport fish. Last time I fished with Carter, it was in my backyard, Sydney, Australia. How the hell are you, mate? I couldn't be better. I Welcome couldn't be better. Welcome to Australia. Thank you. When I went fishing with Al in Australia, he caught me some little fish. Woo! The weather was pretty bad. Calm seas, sunny weather. But I decided to show him some real southern hospitality when he came. The fish are on, the food is good, and the weather is perfect. It's tarpon season. So if there's one thing we're going to do, it's catch a tarpon. And guess what? That's bucket list material for me. I've been amping just to see these huge fish. Because we're talking 50, 60, 100 pounds. So at the crack of dawn, I head down to catch up with Carter at the wharf. Carter, how are you, mate? What's up, Al? Boy, do I have a surprise for you. Tell me more, tell me more. Tarpon, how does that sound? Bring it on. Dude, they showed up on the beach. And no way. And they're here thick. Let's go. No mucking around. Greeting, straight to sea. So we cruise down the inlet with the sun coming up, chatting about the day ahead. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a full, like I said, this is a bucket list for me. The tarpon? I'm, yep. And I remember seeing photos of you in the old days when we were both younger, a lot younger. And a catching big Yeah, sadly so. <laughs> catching big tarpon and stuff, and like proper ones. They are within, for the most part, within the first 50 yards of the beach. No way. Yeah, right there, man. They're, all the bait is up on the beach, and these tarpon are, are in it big time. All these fish are going to be 60 to 100, maybe, maybe north of 100. We'll see. They're, they're big fish. Serious? Like a small they're, one's going to be 60 pounds. And they, they've got it. They, their mouth is like that. And when you get bit, 
you got to set, 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 and then let it go. Every one of them's going to come out of the water. It's a great experience. So we crank up the Merc and head out of the inlet and turn left, running up the beach. Now, Carter's telling me you catch the tarpon on the beach. And when we mean beach, I mean right on the beach. Al didn't realize that we were literally going to be fishing within 50 yards of the beach. And sometimes even tarpon pushing, spraying bait up on the sand is how close they are to the beach. And we're just scooting up the beach, waving to people. And then all of a sudden, he just goes, pulls on the brakes, we slide up, and there's this big brown patch of water. There's a couple of pelicans dropping in. And then I see it. This massive slab of silver rolls over, and I've looked at it going, that's a tarpon. Then there's another one. Then there's another one. All that, that little tiny bit of nervous water is all tarpon. It's the first time I've seen those massive tarpon. I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. This place is awesome. We haven't even had a cast yet. You know the amazing thing? In Australia, a tarpon is about that long. But that's it. And they look the same, they act the same, they do everything the same. They just don't grow. Here in the US, they grow 220 pounds. That's like 100 plus kilos of fish. It's all happening right on the beach. That's what I can't get over. Like right here, they're rolling everywhere. You'll see fish rolling. And you stop and watch that fish roll, and more than likely, he's got a lot of fish with him. These fish, if we can get in front of them and present our bait right, they're eating. I mean, they're done spawning, and they are ready to eat. If we can present our bait right, we're going to get bit. We just got to get in front of them. If I saw multiple fish roll in an area, that's where I wanted to cast. Instead of casting to one fish, if you saw five or six in a small area, you know that there's more than one fish there. The trick is with tarpon, is that they're really finicky. And what you want to do is you chuck plastics in or hard bodies in and try and get them just, it's almost a reactive bite. See how dirty the water is? Yeah, it's filthy, isn't it? You're going to have to drop it right in their face. I'm running a soft plastic, a little mad eye, Halco mad eye. Carter's running a big hard body, and we're punching them out, punching them out, and then all of a sudden, Carter's like, yep, yep, bang! Carter's got the rod, he's wrenching on this thing as hard as he can. I stand here, they go, oh my god, yeah, this is amazing. Next thing you know, this silver slab that's that wide comes launching out of the water. Yeah, man! Woohoo! It is absolutely massive. Coming up, I connect to my biggest tarpon with some explosive results. I'm in Vero Beach, Florida, with my good mate Carter Andrews, chasing huge silver slab tarpon. This silver slab that's that wide comes launching out of the water and at it through the hooks. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Setting a hook on a tarpon is not like setting a hook on any other fish. Their, their mouth is like this. I mean, it's hard as steel. You've got to really, when you get that bite, three, four really good jabs. And then you don't always get them either. They jump, and a hard bait they like to throw. You lose them a lot. The jig a little bit better. And a live bait on a circle hook is the best. Ow, their mouths are really hard, OK? Yeah. You got to hook him, reel down, and hook him, hook him again, OK? So really lay it in. Lay it into him. Don't have your drag too tight. Just get a good hook set and let him go. I was happy just to be there. I didn't need to catch one. I just wanted to see these awesome fish. But moments later, it all changed. So I'm working the plastic, twitch, twitching, and then all of a sudden, the rod just goes crunch. Boom! You got it. You got a big one, Al. Yeah, man! You got it. It's hard to explain how hard they hit, because it's like a soft touch, and then as soon as they feel the hook, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> and then it falls off. <laughs> this is starting to get real exciting. I want to stay attached to one of these things now. 
Dude, what kind of knots are you tying, man? Huh? Ah, look at it. It's chafed. Chafed me off. Look at that. I don't know who taught him to tie his knots. Probably his grandmother. Or maybe it needs glasses. I don't know which it is, but look at this. I'm gonna hook another one before he's even ready. Trust me, I'm a professional. And how far down is that? Come on, here we go. Beautiful, look at that. Like an expert. Put back under pressure. All right, don't miss anything? Oh, I was hoping to get a bite while you were doing that. <laughs> I bet you were. You're just thinking, all right, I'll get one now. I was losing fish. I was losing fish, but we're both getting bit. That's what's important. As long as you keep at it, you know there's going to be some success there. You sort of get mesmerized a bit. You know, you're casting, 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 and I've cast out and I've gone twitch, twitch. Oh, yep. Set it again. You got him. Oh. Keep reeling. The rod's just loaded up, and the screaming run is still etched in my memory. I'm like, crap. It just hammers off, and then it comes flying out of the water. It's jumping and carry on splashing. Oh, nice yeah. job, buddy. How was that? <laughs> Screams off out to sea. I'm hanging on for dear life. That's oh, that's a good one. Dude, you got a big one, Al. I don't think Al really realized what to expect with a tarpon. These are big fish, and they're going to do what they want for the majority of the fight. All of a sudden, Carter's telling me, starts yelling at me, don't let it breathe, don't let it breathe. Every time they take a breath, kind of pull to your left, away from his face. And just try and roll and try him to over. Keep, yep, try to keep him from breathing. So there he is. <laughs> nice jump. So what Carter's been showing me is that when you get these fish up, they'll breathe. They actually gulp air. And the key is stop him breathing, because you'll tire him out quicker. And you've sort of got to keep the rod low. It's like barramundi fishing in Australia to stop them jumping. With these, you want to keep that head down. And the last couple of times there, I did it just right. And you could see it really razzled the fish up. So hopefully, we're going to get a go at grabbing him soon. Half an hour in, my fish is still screaming off. There you go, has a breath of air, and off he goes again. Just keeps going and going, and we're just going out to sea further and further. We finally get it up, then it gulps air. Now, it's revitalized. Off she goes again. It's like we thought we had it before. No, not a chance. No, you, you thought we had it. <laughs> Al thinks he's doing a really good job. Oh, man, I'm doing a good job. But he's really getting his ass kicked. <laughs> I'm doing this right, Aunt Carter. Yeah, 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 keep it up. I've never in my life fought a fish. I've had them where you jump, you try and stop and jump and like, you know, barramundi and stuff like that, but never where I have to stop him breathing. Finally get it up again, and this time I rolled it over and instantly the fight changed. All of a sudden it was really tired. And we start getting it closer to the boat, it starts coming in. Coming up, the tarpon is close but it's those final stages of the fight that are the hardest. I'm in Vero Beach with Carter Andrews, battling my biggest tarpon ever. We start getting it closer to the boat, starts coming in, and then it rolls up beside the boat. Man, it, they are huge, absolutely amazing fish. Here it comes. Carter's going to grab the leader and then jam his hands in its mouth. Really? And he said, oh, watch out. Last one broke my thumb. Oh, and some guys get broken noses because they go off. Yes! <laughs> Look at it! That is huge! Oh. That doesn't matter. That is huge! Oh, man, nice that job, is buddy. so good. Nice job. Look, look, feel the chafe on that. Look at it. Oh, man, that is just... You know when you said it's like right there, and I'm looking at it going. I barely pulled. Oh, I barely pulled. I felt it rubbing during the fight, and I'm going, oh man, what a fish. They got scales on them like that. Big, massive eye on it, and a massive gob. This thing's like 80 pounds. Carter, all my life I've wanted to catch one of these big Florida tarpon, and 
That was above and beyond. The fight was insane. Everything about that fish. Like, look at it. We're dragged out off the beach. We've been going, what, an hour and... Almost an hour. I bet it's been an hour. It's been a bloody hour. Yeah. They're tough, Al. They're tough. They don't give up, either. I can't believe how hard they fight. After that, it went quiet. So we moved up the beach a bit, where Carter had to take an important call. Check this out. And we've got tarpon right on the beach. While Carter was pretending to be busy, I got straight into the action again. So flick a little soft plastic in there, bang, straight away on. And what do I catch? A ladyfish, which is like a giant herring in Australia. Any ladies I can get. But you know what? As exciting as it is to catch all these ladyfish, we need a tarpon. We went back to the big school that we were fishing, and there was still some activity, a few fish rolling in the middle. And that's when I decided to put live baits and slow troll it behind the boat while Al was sight casting to some fish still working the mud. There's still a few tarpon buffing, odd one rolling on the surface. It still looks good. As I'm trolling the outside of that school in the clearer water, I get the bite on the mullet. There's this boof. You see this massive hole where the bait was, and the little talica is just screaming. It's That's a tarpon. The problem is, it runs straight up the beach to where there's four other boats tarpon fishing, and they're all right on top of each other. I'm like, Al, get on the engines, get on the motor, follow this boat. Rightio, OK. Get up, Al, quick, we got to go. Go a little bit quicker for you. All right, just a little bit. Just touching up a little bit there. You happy with that speed? Yep. He's on the wrong side of the console, driving on, I don't know what he's thinking. He's thinking he's in a car in Australia, driving around. Hey, just stay clear of that boat. We're weaving in and out of the boats in six foot of water. Hopefully it's a tarpon. I was able to pick up the 400 yards of line that was already taken off my reel. That was a screaming run. Luckily, we got through them out the other side without hooking any lines. All through all the boats, look at them, we went straight through the middle of the whole lot. What's the tarpon do? Go right into the beach. Look at him go, he's gonna end up on the beach. It took me all the way in along the beach and up the side of the beach. Let him pull for a minute. Rightio, out of gear. Big tarpon, baby, big tarpon. So we're falling it along, cutting it in. Then it turns around, goes out to sea. And then it jumps. Here it comes. Jump! <laughs> Big fish right there. Yeah, baby! Coming up, Carter continues the struggle with a monster tarpon that just won't play ball. He's towing us home, man. I'm fishing with celebrity Carter Andrews, and we're battling an explosive tarpon. Here it comes. Jump! <laughs> Big fish right there. Yeah, baby! Big fish right there, Al. Every time one jumps, you're like, oh. Oh, man, that is amazing. He's towing us home, man. Now, Carter's caught a lot of tarpon. He's a bit of an expert with him, so he's loading up a lot more than I was, and he's really giving it to it. And as this tarpon comes up to breathe, rolls it down straight away. Every time, stops it breathing. Finally, he comes up beside the boat, and I'm thinking, you know, get some good underwater. Maybe I could jump in. It's about time to land this fish. Al says, OK, so what are we going to do now? How are you going to land it? And I said, me land it? Al, the gloves are right there. It's yours. You're landing this fish. You're going to grab that fish for me. Carter turns around and goes, get those bloody gloves on, mate. Come on, we've got to catch this fish. And he goes, righty all you need to do is grab the leader with one hand and just jam your hand down his gob with the other. Damn it. I knew I was going to have to do the hard yards. Yeah. Don't break your thumb and watch your face. That doesn't sound quite right to me. You got to grab him. You get him up close, you grab him in that big bucket mouth and hold on. These blokes just told me that they he broke his thumb on one, they smash stuff, they smash your nose, they go berserk. I'm going to try to work to the back of the boat for you, Al. I can see he's really intimidated by the size. There's a big fish beside the boat, and he's never grabbed a giant tarpon. Ah, bugger it. I'll do it. I'll give it a crack. <sighs> Under her. So we get it up beside the boat, and it just swims along just out of reach, and they're just magic. And you know what? That's what I wanted everyone to see. 
just to see them properly sitting beside the boat. Look at that fish. Leader in mouth. So it comes in close. I go for a reach at the leader. Going I grab the leader. Let go. Pull it on it a bit. Pull on a bit. Slip through. Let it go. <sighs> Sorry, mate. I don't want to pull too hard on you. Carter guides it back in for another shot. Swing around again. As soon as I put that extra pressure, eh, she pulls on me every time. Comes around again. Carter goes, hang on to it this time. This is it. As it comes back around, I've grabbed the leader, tried to grab the mouth, and it's just shook a bit. Hold on. And the leader's snapped. Woo! Yes! Man, that was a fish! <laughs> Unfortunately, it chafed through right there at the end of the fight. But you know what? That's a caught fish. And better still, everyone gets to see just how big they are up close, because they are an absolutely magnificent fish. Pretty satisfied. You know, anytime you can come out, literally, my backyard and catch fish like that, you know, it's pretty special. I may have lived in some great places and done some great things, but to be able to come along coast of Florida, right here in Vero, and come catch a world-class fish like that, no place like home. Isn't that what they say? What a good home that is. I can't believe how good it is. I just can't get over it's on the beach. You know what, we've just had the most amazing day. Seeing those tarpon, you know, it started a little bit slow, then all of a sudden they're buffing everywhere, hooking them up, jumping them off, and then to land a couple of them, 80 and 100 pounds. Mate, Florida, you've got to do it. And especially fishing with your mates. Yeah, yeah, keep it up. It's cooked. 